Hello my darlings and welcome. In this video I'm going to create a page in my book of shadows. A recipe for abramelin oil. This spell oil is used as an anointing oil for magic and ritual. Let's do some magical crafting. If you'd like to download a PDF of this grimoire page, please visit Magical Crafting on Patreon at the link below the video. My patrons can download recipes, book of shadows pages, artwork, and more, all provided as PDFs, and I continue to add new downloadable content as I do more projects on the channel. If you'd like to see how I set up my watercolor palette, I have a separate video on that process and I'll leave a link to it below. When I design a page in my book of shadows, I start with a pencil sketch. Then I go over it with waterproof ink and erase my pencil lines. And finally, I go back in with watercolor paint to add color and backgrounds. I've also created a video of me making abramelin spell oil using the recipe on this grimoire page. I'll put a link to that video below. I usually say that the herbal correspondences I've chosen are all based on my personal oil recipe and that you don't need to use as many herbs as I do and that you can personalize your own oil ingredients to focus on what's important to you. However, that's not true with abramelin oil. This recipe has been unchanged since biblical times. A holy oil made with these ingredients is described in the book of Exodus, specifically chapter 30, verses 22 through 32. Abramelin oil, also called oil of abramelin, is a ceremonial magic oil. It's primarily used to consecrate yourself and your tools before spell work. It can be used by anyone wishing to connect to any type of spiritual teaching or ceremonial magic. Abramelin oil became popular in the Western esoteric tradition in the 20th century via Aleister Crowley, who used a similar version of this oil in his system of magic. The oil continues to be used in several modern occult traditions, particularly Kabbalah, the Order of the Golden Dawn, and Thelema. The first ingredient is calamus root. Calamus root is also known as sweet flag, and it's an ingredient that will help you sweetly get your way. Use calamus root for spell work for protection, wisdom, and contacting your spiritual patrons. Root workers use calamus to break curses, aid in gambling luck, and for boosting luck in general. Additionally, they use it as a controlling herb, guiding the actions of other people. It is thought to grant the bearer control over a person or a situation. Because of this, calamus root is an ingredient in formulas used for controlling others. Beyond that, it's used to break jinxes or bring good luck. It can also be used or burned as an incense to encourage spiritual, emotional, and physical healing. The second ingredient is cinnamon. Cinnamon brings luck while also boosting the power of the other herbs it's paired with. Cinnamon can be used to consecrate your spaces or your magical tools. Just use a couple drops of oil in a diffuser to cleanse your spaces or anoint each tool with oil to cleanse it. Burn cinnamon to stimulate your spiritual powers and increase your psychic ability and awareness. Cinnamon invokes lust and is considered an aphrodisiac. It can be used in love spells as well as for sex magic. Use it to protect your home and yourself from negative energies. Cinnamon can help to speed up the other spells you've cast. Anoint your wallet with cinnamon oil or carry a cinnamon stick to draw money to you. It can be used in spells relating to success and can bring you luck. It's also great when used in healing spells. The third ingredient is cassia. Cassia and cinnamon both come from the bark of a tree that's a member of the laurel family. I'm including both cinnamon and cassia in my oil because historical abramelin oil recipes include one or the other. Since cinnamon and cassia are two species of the same cinnamomum genus, 
and in medieval Europe, it was difficult to obtain cinnamon and cassia as separate products. It's my opinion that they may be used separately or together. Cassia's legacy as an important trade good stretches to ancient Egypt, where it was used as an embalming agent for the pharaohs. Biblical references speak of cassia being used both ritualistically and cosmetically in Israel. Along with other ingredients in this oil, cassia is one of the ingredients in the incense offerings burned in the temple sanctuary by ancient Hebrews. Cassia has been a part of Chinese medicine and Ayurvedic practices consistently for nearly 5,000 years. Using cassia noticeably increases energy levels. Its heating properties build courage and stoke the fires of sexual desire and arousal. Use cassia to attract prosperity and riches. The fourth ingredient is myrrh. Myrrh is not an herb but a resin and appears in a number of religious and spiritual contexts. Myrrh, like frankincense and sandalwood, is associated with purification and cleansing. You can use myrrh in a number of different ritual and magical contexts. In some magical traditions, myrrh is incorporated into workings to break hexes and curses, or for protection against magical and psychic attacks. Myrrh amplifies your magical intent. You can also blend myrrh into an incense to use for purifying sacred spaces, or to consecrate magical tools and other items. If you decide to make abramelin oil, I hope that this video has given you some ideas for ingredients and that you manifest the connection with spirit that you desire. Enjoy the rest of the speed paint without further commentary.